All right, we are back with another Tallyboard boss. We're going to fight, uh, what was the name? Geo Mumbri. Uh, he's located over there. I've already attempted to fight him, but I died. I guess you can't really see him from here. Come to me, Ambrosa. There he is. Come on. Faster. Faster, girl. Wait, is Ambrosa a female or is it a male? I don't even know. We fly. You deserve a rest. Our time to battle has come. So I also uh, got new shit as well. Uh, like I finally maximized Giga Flare and I put it to the Titan, which is fantastic. We got Gritty and then we got the Giga Flare. Giga Flare, my god, I can't talk. Uh, let me stretch all up. <clears throat> and then we have Gouge and Aerial Blast. We've had this from like the very beginning of the game, basically. Rising Flames and Flames of Rebirth, also at the very beginning of the game. I did Blackthorn's quest, and I think his name is Victor. The dude is like from uh, that other. He's from Dragzord. Dragzord, or whatever. Hold up. Well, I'm gonna just see it real quick. Uh, right here, I think. Nope, not you. Yeah, Dravods. If you did the quest to go to Dravods, then you'll be able to get the, the sword from Blackthorn. Which is absolutely incredible. Uh, it has a lot of damage. This is, I think this is the very first legendary weapon in the game so far, is the Ragnarok. But there's this other one that's supposed to be even stronger. Um, I got the recipe to make it already, and, well, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Uh, it gives you like 50, uh, it gives you 50 points into attack and 50 into stagger, so I'm really wanting to get that, but I don't think I can get the ingredients uh, for that weapon right now because... I think you have to progress uh, more on the story to get it. That's what I'm assuming. And then I still haven't been able to get the uh, Ouroboros Belt and Ouroboros Gauntlet. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, or the braces, not Gauntlet. Uh, it's kind of pissing me off. I really want to get the Ouroboros material, but I think you also have to progress through in the story a little bit more. I'm pretty sure. Um, I really also wanted to, but eh, whatever. And I still have this, the Breath of Fire, Flames of Rebirth. It's from the very beginning of the game I've had this. I'm not changing it. It's very good to have this. And then I recently got the <clears throat> Ring of the Demolitionist. Uh, increases magic burst, will damage by 15%. Very good. So it's like, so when I do like attacks like this. Like those little quick bursts. Uh, they will increase the will damage for that. Uh, which is really good, and I still have the the badge of might, which increases attack by 12. I probably should just uh, switch this. I want to get the um, I want to get like a ring or a necklace or whatever the hell these are. I want to get the Bahamut for the Giga Flare, the cooldown for it, or damage, whichever. It would I think I think damage is a little better. I won't lie, but I don't have it. So that's basically all the all that I have, which is fucking awesome. And we're level 44? Yeah, 44. It's fucking awesome. But I think I've been talking long enough, it's time for the boss! Get over here. Get over here, we're not done. That's very cute. And he does this. Easy. I actually know most of his attacks because uh, when you do Blackthorn's quest, it'll go to that area that I just mentioned, the Dresvards. Jezvad, Jezvad, or whatever it is called. Um, you fight this boss there. But he doesn't have the same move as this guy. That one jumping attack, or the, the flying attack he's got with the paw, 
that he has, this attack he has. Uh, but like the... He does some other shit here that he hasn't shown. He does that, of course. This guy's level 45, okay. This move he does... So far he's doing moves that I've already seen. There's one move that he does. I think it's this one, Delta Attack. This one I have done seen, oh shit. That one he doesn't have. That one that's like, that's new. Oh my god. Damn it! I fucked up. I'm like, where? Which button do I press? Which button do I press? Okay. Hold on. Get him. Hold on. I want to use a strength tonic before anything else. Let's use this just before the stagger meter hits full. Damn it, I dodged too early. Nice. And now we gouge. This is what I should be doing all the time, is keep going for gouge. Gouge takes so much uh, will. Or gives a lot of damage to uh, to the stagger meter. Gotcha. Flare. We can also aim to the Giga Flare, which is awesome. That is so much damage. Oh, I should probably not. Uh... 57, wow. I should probably not have ignition mode if I'm doing Giga Flare. That'd be a little smarter. Nice try. Nice try. Ooh, I'm not gonna heal. Why would I do that? He's about to die. Cause King of Fire to the face! Oh, I mean gritty. <laughs> I mean gritty to the face. I'm just hyped about Giga Flare. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. Damn. I still I always get it confused. Is it her top bard experience or is that the gill? I think that's the experience. <gasps> or a Kalkum. We need the seal of our Kalkos. To upgrade our uh, belts, to upgrade our weapon, I think, and to get the gauntlet. That is what we require, sire. That is what we require. Oh, but there you go, guys. Uh, that'll require that fight. I uh, don't remember the name of that boss. I didn't look at the name. I literally just woke up. Uh, my brain is not uh, is not fully awakened yet, so you're gonna have to pardon my uh, my slurs. But anyways, that was that fight. Uh, very cool fight. Not you know. Wasn't bad at all. Uh, I'm hoping that there's no more side quests, because oh my god, dude. I've done so many side quests, I don't even know how, I'm, how much I've done. Uh, how do I go to... Journal. Is this a side quest? Compl uh, completed quests. Main scenario progress. Uh, look at this shit, man. Ugh.
Yeah, the uh, the side quests with the plus on it, that's the ones that you want the most. Where is it at? I know I saw a couple of them. Right here. The White Winged Wonder. I got this one a long time ago. This gives you the, uh, the, the Chocobo. Ambrosia, this one gives the... The Ragnarok that we just got that I'm wearing on my back right now. Blacksmith Blues. I don't remember that gives. Alright, these three, they give you the required materials to make the Ragnarok. I think the Blacksmith Blues is the... It's like the, it's the leather. The Blacksmith Blues 2 is the stone. And then the Blacksmith Blues 3 is where you talk to that dude in Dregzod. And then he gives you like a coal that like makes the the fires more intense, and then you you do uh, you finish uh, the blacksmith blues last. Is that how it goes? No. Maybe it is. And then you do, then you create the the sword on this one. Please, sir, can I have some marble? Uh, this one increases the potency of like your 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 consumables like potions and and uh, tonics. The root of the problem. What is this one? Uh, I guess oh, I think this one also increases... Uh... Yeah, it also fortifies it too. Yeah, okay, so it says at the very bottom. Uh, we'll fortify Clive's potions and elixirs, but uh, with by a single drop. So this is like the very first potency to your potions, and this is like the second one, or I guess a stronger one. Even weirder science. This increases the uh, the amount that you can hold on your pouches for like potions. Like if it like if high potion is like at three, and then you you complete this quest, it'll be at, like at four. Then it increases potions capacity by like two or three or something like that. It's crazy. Weirder science this is the very first one of this mission. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you see any quests with a little plus, definitely do them. They're very worthwhile. Uh, but anyways, that'll conclude this boss. So I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next. Uh, Boss. Whoa, look at that. Look over my character's head. Lightning speed! <laughs>